There are those who would like to see you fail in your journey. That's not going to happen on my watch. Let's go. Can we stop for ice cream, Bart? Can we stop for ice cream? Oh, it's the Max! Ho 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 The Polaroid is in the Max, and that's what it actually looks like. How sweet! Okay, end of May, June, July, and now we're into August, so... That was the longest night of my life. Hello, 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 hello. I am Simulator Deck and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are back in our main depot in San Francisco and I am driving a 2014 Kenworth Pepsi truck and this model here, here it is beautiful looking Pepsi truck it's a T680 and we are ready to go there's another Kenworth getting repaired in the background all right so what we need to do first is to find a job we are back in San Francisco we swapped what I seemingly thought with a truck in Seattle, but it took me back to it took me back to San Francisco. So we can take some containers to Santa Cruz, small containers to Santa Cruz, some Teslas to Saint Maria, another Caterpillar to Bend, Oregon, a box of mobile phones to Flagstaff pressure tank to Bellingham and a boom lift to Laurel in Montana so for the sake of the exercise let's go and drive the, the Tessa all right Mr Morgan Throman let's go Certainly very different and sounding very different and looking very different to the last Tesla that we, or the last Tesla, oh my god, the last Kenworth I had. So it looks like we don't have far to pick up these Teslas at all. Oh, it does want me to... Oh, hang on, I can just turn... I'll go the way I was originally going to go. Oh, what? Do you want my headlight on or off? I don't know. Alright, we're just going around the corner. Keep right. I'm crying out loud. Turn right. Turn right. I 
Alright, here we go. We have arrived. An elite team has been assembled to guide your mission. Let's get started. Oh, there it is right there. Aki Daki. Alright, let's get a look. Our mission is to secure the safety of the American people, including you. Buckle up. Alrighty, so that's a good look at our Pepsi truck. Um, Alright, let's get in the cab. And let's go. Turn right. Oh, did I crash into a Tesla? After this one here, I think. All right, so it's 7.20 a.m. on Wednesday. After waiting around for this truck to become available, and we've had a few days off. 261 miles, five and a half hours. Oh, there's a good photo opportunity if I am quick enough. Spoiler alert, he was not quick enough. Keep left. And pin, turn left. Turn left. Alright, so here we are. 7.20 a.m. Wednesday, 261 miles, 5 hours 26, expected just before 1 p.m. on Wednesday, which is today. 24,000 tons of cars to Santa Maria. There's another Pepsi truck. Next rest stop in 13 and a half hours, so we are good. Pepsi trucks galore here. There we go. All right, let's get our game faces on and let's not get stuck at red lights. Certainly a very different Camworth to the last one that I had. 
just needed some to drive something a little bit different got another couple of um, trucks in mind for this particular series So at the time of recording, I think I've actually got an ear infection in both ears. Because I haven't changed my audio set settings since yesterday. And um, hearing myself and hearing the truck is a lot harder today than it was um, yesterday. So one of the hard things, of course, is getting out of San Francisco. And we've already discovered that once already. So a different sounding Jake break to um, what we had. So when I stop at the next set of traffic lights, I'm going to try and kill two birds with the one stone here. As we try and get out of town. San Francisco is another favourite of mine. Now for a lot of people this isn't going to make sense, but for one particular person this is going to make sense, but I don't think he'll be watching. The important question of course is, does the statue look anything like him? Question mark. Oops. So I have been assured that the statue does look like the person <laughs> that um, we're talking about having a different conversation altogether. But have you ever noticed that if somebody has a statue made for them, which is a big thing in American sports, amongst other things, um, that the statues really look like the person that they're actually making a statue of? Thirty seems so slow here. And uh, now we should be able to go up to forty after we leave San Francisco City limits. The San Francisco City limits. Now 
now we can go up to 50. There we go. Can we go to 65? No, we can go to 55 because we're a truck in California. We don't seem to be capable of doing any more than 55, even though in the last episode in some places I got up to 80. Four and a half hours to go. Four hours and twenty remaining. So I keep on hearing changes being made to the California map. California map being the very first state that uh, American Truck Simulator was had featured. So there's been a lot that's been added to um, American Truck Simulator over recent years so they've decided that as part of it um, they should um, do some reworking of California Now, as usual, I should point out that my game is very much not vanilla. The map could be um, even more modded than what it already is, but quite happy with it at the moment. Sign for Fresno and Santa Maria, which is where we're heading. Continue straight. Continue straight. Thank you, Mr. Morgan Freeman. Three hours and twenty remaining. Of course, one thing in California that I'm looking forward to seeing is the opening of the electric train service between San Francisco and San Jose on Caltrain. That's going to be very, very cool. They're in the latter stages of testing for that at the time of recording in March 2024. And another rail project in California that's taking a little bit more time and will take some more time is the uh, California High Speed Rail, which is under construction.
and another high-speed rail project that's going on in California. I don't think it's started yet, but they're still talking about still talking about it. Is a high-speed line between Vegas and California. Uh, we've got some road work ahead. Um, yeah, so we're merging. Don't cut the bus off. Bang! Got him! Oh, check out the kangaroo hops. I might take advantage of that. And, um, sneak up ahead. Oh, what have we, what have we got here? So we've got a nose to tail. Oh, we've got a couple of nose to tails here. With CHP, paramedics, and fire on scene. Yes, 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 I'm coming, Chippy. This never used to be a thing. Oh, there's some train tracks. I'm going to drive like this for a while. So it's going to be another high speed railway line, although they're talking, uh, it's taking some time to. Um, get the design etc done between Vegas and California unfortunately in this stage the um, high speed rail means that there will be a change of train somewhere so you won't be able to get the one train directly from LA to Vegas or vice versa but apparently, even with the change of train, it will still be quicker than um, driving from Vegas to um, LA. So that'll be interesting to see sometime down the track, pun slightly intended. So I'm going to drive slightly differently for a while, just drive it like this. Certainly a different feeling driving the truck from um, first person compared to third person, which is how I'm driving it now. Um, Alright. Los Angeles, Santa Maria, so continue on the interstate. Continue straight. Thank you, Morgan. And then you get freaky situations like this. Certainly is harder to control driving like this compared to um, driving in cab. Oh, I didn't realise that I had my indicator on the whole time because I can't hear it from outside. For the truck simulators, I certainly prefer to drive this way. I suppose it's, for me, it's mainly a police simulator um, GTA drive from outside the car. Hey. 
we're 90 minutes remaining. Nice simple load, mostly down, down the interstate. So I specifically looked for a truck because I was in Seattle in the last episode. I looked for a Seattle truck of this model which had zero miles on the clock. But because I'm a San Francisco driver, seemingly I can only swap trucks with San Francisco. So they've given me a truck that's got 2,500 miles on it, which isn't bad. But I was looking for a brand new truck with zero kilometres on it. So this is obviously was one of my other San Francisco drivers. So I had to wait 38 hours because they were on a job and I was in Seattle. Sometimes I lose concept of speed and it doesn't feel like I'm doing 55 miles an hour then you um, take a look at the speed over and all of a sudden it's 65 and you're only in a 55 zone. Under an hour to go down. still going towards Bakersfield no we've been there once already Thirty-four miles to go. We'll see what jobs uh, we can pick up when we get to Santa Maria. We must be exiting soon. Now, a customer expects delivery very soon. Yeah, well, I'm doing my best here. It's not a wide window on this job either. But overall, it's been a pretty quick trip. We just had the um, one incident there, which closed the lane. But compared to some of the detours that I've had to take, um, not very long at all. 15 minutes, 10 miles to go. Oh, I can see the, um, the flag on my map. So it looks like we're gonna get off at the next exit and then it's just nearby keep right and then exit right exit right all right here we go so we just exit here turn left turn left good one Turn left. So follow the chippy. California Highway Patrol. I reckon the Chips TV series was my introduction to California. Oh, here we go. Tesla dealer. The Tesla dealer. Santa Maria local police there.
you've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. All right, we'll handle the delivery themselves. Cars delivered from San Francisco to Santa Maria, 261 miles, 6 hours and 27 minutes, including loading and unloading. Proficiency, long distance, high value, fragile and urgent delivery bonuses. Now let's see, what have we got from here? Now we've done a bit of cars lately, let's see what else we have in Santa Maria. All right, we have an autonomous tra tractor, more cars, structural components, more cars. No, I am not hauling Coca-Cola on a Pepsi truck. Uh, industrial pallets, flour, oh, Pepsi truck to Idaho. Yes, we definitely have to do that one, but that one will be on the next episode so up through northern california into nevada through nevada through reno and then into the bottom of idaho so we'll i may be the vice president of america but you're the president of this car and it's time to take action all right so can't really go that way. So we'll leave the Tesla dealer and we'll go effectively around the corner. Turned very, very wide there. And then turn left. Turn left. All right, we're heading to the UPS. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Let's get going. The leaders of many foreign nations await your arrival. So, no need to guess which one's mine. It's really easy to spot this one. Hundred and fifty one miles, seventeen hours and fifty eight minutes, so eighteen hours. Obviously, can't do that all in the one delivery, all in the one day, I should say. So, 
So we are going to end our episode here. I've been Simulator Eric. You've been very wonderful. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode, which really should be brought to you by Pepsi. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Simulator Eric. You've been wonderful. I want to get rid of this ear infection. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. There are those who would like to see you fail in your journey. That's not going to happen on my watch. Let's go. Can we stop for ice cream, Bart? Can we stop for ice cream? Oh, it's the Max! Ho 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 The Portland Light Rail System, the Max, and that's what it actually looks like. How sweet! Okay, end of May, June, July, and now we're into August, so... That was the longest night of my life.